with uh, increasing changes in the climate and what so we prefer to look at it as climate variability rather than just climate change uh, continuous uh, you know uh, cons consecutive years of uh, drought and flood particularly in the state where i come from drought is very much uh, a significant issue and what we find there is uh, that women who are in fact at the forefront of uh, uh, anything that has to do with livelihoods and uh, l related to land and water issues. Uh, in fact, women are responsible for collecting fuel, for collecting fodder, water, fetching water. And a large part of their time is spent on agriculture related activities, either as laborers or as cultivators. But with these changes, what we are increasingly seeing is uh, whether it's consecutive years of drought or flooding, Increasingly what we see is that it is these sections that are at the receiving end of uh, climate change and uh, with very little in hand in terms of whether it is uh, land titles or whether it is participation in water users committees or in fact uh, even decision making at the very very grassroots level. Uh, what we find is that uh, it is these sections, the most vulnerable sections, that have to deal with these climate changes, while a uh, majority of the men uh, out-migrate in search of jobs. So it's, uh, it's obviously a situation where uh, they have to be at the forefront of an adversity without access to any resources. And this is where we feel that uh, climate uh, variability strategies to mitigate uh, climate change uh, will have to look at these diverse sections of the population. So obviously uh, a mere technological solution of what works best in terms of either agricultural practices or you know technologies in uh, micro irrigation or water uh, are not going to be sufficient. We will have to look at the context of these people and the way they live and the kind of work burden that they uh, are uh, into right now to come out with real solutions uh, for uh, these sections of the population. Uh, we see groups of women coming into collectives to share resources. So collective farming and community agriculture is one of the you know, very, very uh, significant alternatives that women themselves are uh, choosing. But the problem is that there is very little government support or policy support for that. So that's one of the major things that uh, we would recommend and we have been recommending is that look for solutions that people are already coming up with and support them through very strong policy initiatives, whether it is in terms of access to land, water, uh, credit, inputs of different kinds, so that they are in a much better position to uh, confront these crises uh, on a much more sustainable way.